Trouble getting your burners to turn on or off? If so, you likely need a new manifold assembly. The manifold assembly consists of the manifold tube, three valves, the orifices, and the mounting hardware. The manifold distributes the gas to each of the grill's three burners. The valves are built into the manifold, which allow you to adjust the gas from off to full. Common manifold assembly problems are stuck valves, a valve that won't shut off completely, and a plugged valve or orifice. Replacing the manifold assembly is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. I'll begin by removing the igniter from the grill. The igniter button just simply unscrews. Beneath the button you'll find the battery, I'll remove that. And now I can remove this locking ring to release the rest of the igniter. Now remove the three knobs from the front of the manifold. They just simply pull away. Now remove the cabinet doors. When you open the door, in the top corner, there's a small opening. Inside there's a lever. If you pull down on that lever, it'll release the door. Just use the screwdriver to grab onto the lever, pull down, and the door will come right off. Now remove the wind deflector. It's held in place with two screws. Now remove the control panel. It is also held in place with two screws. Now remove the heat deflector from the manifold and it is held in place with two screws, one on each side. Now I'm going to remove the propane connection from the manifold. If you haven't already done so, you'll want to remove the propane cylinder from the grill before doing this. I'll use an adjustable wrench to unscrew the fitting. Now I can remove the manifold. It's held in place with one screw on either side. And now I'll pull the manifold away from the burners. The burners sit on brackets in the back of the grill box. When you remove the manifold, the burners will tend to fall off of those brackets. So before we install the new manifold, I'm going to remove the grill grates and the flavorizer bars so we can remount the burners. Now I can install the new manifold using the new fasteners that came with it. I'll realign the manifold with the grill. I want the wires to go over the top of the manifold and I'll work it behind the heat deflector. Then I need to attach each of the burners to the valves. The burners just slide right over the valve stems. Now place the rear of each burner back up on the bracket at the back of the grill box. 
just kind of work the burners and the manifold into place. And now I'll secure the manifold with the two screws. I've left this screw just a little loose. After I tighten up the other side, I'll come back and tighten this one. Now I can reattach the heat shield. The back of the heat shield fits in a notch on the manifold bracket, and then the front edge gets secured with a screw. Now I'll re-secure the gas fitting. Now that the propane connection is made on the new manifold, you'll want to reinstall the propane cylinder to your barbecue and turn the propane bottle on. We'll need to test this connection to make sure it's not leaking. To test the connection, you'll want to use some soapy water. This is just simply water with, with some dish soap in it. I'll take a brush and apply the water and soap all around the fitting. If the propane is leaking, you'll see bubbles forming around the connection. Now I can reinstall the control panel. The top edge attaches to hooks on either side of the frame and the bottom gets secured with the screws. Now I can reinstall and secure the igniter. Now I can reinstall the wind deflector. The tabs on the front of the wind deflector slide over the metal on the bottom of the control panel. Now I can reinstall the doors. I line up the bottom of the door with the hinge pin on the bottom of the grill, and again pull the lever inside the door down to release the pin. I'll line up the pin with the hole on the top of the grill and release the lever. Now I can reinstall the three control knobs. You'll notice where the control knob mounts is shaped like a D. I'll line up the flat of the D with the flat spot on the valve stem. And then they just press into place. Now I'll finish up assembling the igniter. I'll replace the battery. The negative end should be out towards me, the positive end inside. And screw the push button back in place. And I'll finish up by replacing the flavorizer bars and the grills. With the grill grates in place, now I can replace the warming rack.